I now know why I couldn't fall asleep. I was destined to tune into this stream. Yes, that is exactly why. Hello. Feel that someday I might. Hello. Hi, Lama. To the moon and back and nothing in this world could change that a treasure we say that we have Hello, hi Julie, hi Matt, what's up, what's up? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Hello, Mars Barley. How was your day? Good. Woke up, worked out, showered, took a nap, ate some food, watched some drama. Now I stream. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How was your weekend? God, God, I did. What did I do? Threw away all my garbage. Mm, tried to sleep, but I actually didn't sleep that much this weekend. Um, saw my parents. My parents visited. And... Uh, parents visited and we had lunch together and that stuff. Hi, Andiago. Oh, and then we got a yawn email. Now we can all yawn. <laughs> I feel like it's something that uh, I've been doing for so long and everyone's like yawning and we just don't have a yawn. So now, now we can all yawn. Nomo box. Thank you for the 15 months. No mo, no mo. <laughs> to the moon I'm back I know, it's so cute. Well, if you guys ever need to yawn, feel free. Wes! Thank you for the 23 months. Welcome back. Round and round and never ends. Oh my god, I fucking love this song. <laughs> I love this song so much. Such a sad love. Deep in your eyes, a kind of pale jewel. Open and closed within your eyes. I place the skies within your eyes. How do I get the playlist? It's amazing. Oh, I don't really have a playlist, but I can tell you what the songs are if you're interested. Rank. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you checking my rank when I'm not even playing a game right now? <laughs> At all. For you. Oh, I actually haven't. Hein's new song. Michael, good evening. Thank you for the 43 months in the tier 3 sub. Welcome back. Ooh, bangers. Um, it might be because we're on the Halloween set. Michael, try out the new, try out the new emote. It's perfect for you. You always leave us 
early because I stream late or whatever. <laughs> Hi, Pocky. Thank you for the sub. Welcome back for 14 months. Natsu yawn. Yawn, yawn, yawn. Yes, Natsu yawn. If I sense for you. That's for when you guys wake up and go to sleep. It's very applicable. <laughs> okay, let me listen to Heaton's new song. Heaton. <sighs> Jewish Whites, thank you for the 28 months. Welcome back. Uh, is it called In the Mood? Oh, it's a whole ass album. Damn. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm going to like this so I can listen to it when I play League. Okay, we're gonna have to put this on hold. I need to listen- I need to, like, listen to all the songs at one time, and I can't listen to it right now, because... I don't know, it's just- it's hard. Because if I'm talking, and I, I can't really listen. But when I'm playing League, I can listen. Because I could just, like, have it on in the background and listen to it while I'm kind of doing something else. But I'm tiny as it's going to be hard, so... You know? Open multiple tabs. Oh, yeah, listen to all, like, eight songs of the album at the same time! <laughs> Yup, that's how I'm gonna do it. Yup. Open listen to all songs at the same time. Dank. It's all dank. Okay. Today's plan. Dude, I can't even talk when there's a song in the background. Okay, let me just talk without the song in the background. So uh today's plan is we're gonna be chatting for a little bit. Um maybe we can react to a couple of things and then um, we are going to be doing a sponsored segment. Um, it's a new game called The Front. Never played it before. Um, but I'll tell you guys about that when the time comes. And then afterwards, I think I will be playing Genshin. Um, I think. Yeah, I think I should. So this week, I don't know if lucky or unlucky, but... Um, I'm only taking one day off <laughs> so we, I'm actually okay so it's funny because I know I took the weekend off but I'm actually taking tomorrow off um, because it's just the only day that makes sense for me to take off Kirby thank you for the 35 months welcome back there's a new emote try it out it's called yawn um, so I'm taking tomorrow off but then I'm gonna be streaming Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday <laughs> and Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday. anyway so I'm gonna be pretty much just streaming consecutively for like two weeks um, but I haven't gotten any, any, like, self-care stuff, pamper, self-pampering stuff for, like, many, many months. So I'm actually, I booked a nice little, um, facial, like, skincare thing for tomorrow. Um, and it's really close by, and ho so hopefully I like it. So I'm gonna do that. Um... And then I'm I'm gonna so yeah my my plans are to work out and then go to my facial and then just sit at home and do nothing tomorrow because nothing. <laughs> um, self care Tuesday. <laughs> Hi Shady, couldn't join the last few streams, but I'm here at Dgen time. You know honestly, I feel like my hours have gotten less Dgen because 10:30. Okay, hear me out, right? 10:30 Eastern is 7 30 pst i used to be live at 11 p.m pst so i'm actually like three hours less degen than i used to be because i'm currently streaming from the future and that means it's even earlier for asia and even earlier for europe so well i mean i i stream into the morning right so it's like like, even though it might be 4 a.m. for you right now, I'm still going to be streaming when it's, like, 7 a.m. So it's technically not, like, that degen. It's actually, like, early morning for you guys. If you're from, like, the other side of the world, right? Yeah. Anyways. um, And then I have... And, and then, so I'm doing some... On the weekend, I'm actually going to do a Genshin watch party. Um, because, uh, MiHoYo is doing, like, a Astro Festival thing from TwitchCon, I believe. And so I'm just going to be watch partying that for the weekend. 
and pl probably playing some Genshin prior to that. So that's what I'm doing during the weekend. Um, so yeah, it's funny. I'm not attending TC. Oh my God, what if we f we can spot Jamie on the watch party? <laughs> Jamie, pop into my stream during the weekend. I'd be like, Jamie, pop up. We're gonna find you. It's gonna be like finding Waldo, but like finding Jamie. <laughs> It'll be funny. Everybody's gonna be at TwitchCon. I'll be at a home with my binoculars. <laughs> with my binoculars. Mm hmm. Okay, put the music back on. Now it's too quiet. Dude, I swear, I wanna talk, but then I can't talk like over my music sometimes. But then it gets quiet if I don't talk with music sometimes. <laughs> Toilet peepers. Okay, let me see what we got here cooking up on the tubes. Did I, did I not see this? Oh, I didn't. Cry, girls let me be done. We don't cry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Feels like it's been so long since I've heard you sing. I know I've been I've been on like a gaming grind. But I feel like I do sing when I have, whenever I don't play games, question mark. <laughs> or maybe like in the middle of my league games. <sighs> okay, let's see. Enjoy tomorrow. Hopefully you feel refreshed and recharged from the self-care. Yeah, thank you. I think I will. I've been... Mm, I don't know. I've been waking up from... I've been waking up from a lot of nightmares, actually. Well, I wouldn't say very often, but like, I woke up from a nightmare today and it was very vivid. Like I wrote down everything in my dream. And then two weeks ago, I had another really vivid nightmare. And then like a week, ag and then a week before that, I had another vivid nightmare. Yeah, I know. I thought I finished Little Nightmares too. <laughs> I have some pretty like, Vivid nightmares, yeah. And I usually, like, wake up crying from them. No, no, it's not. I it, They're so vivid that I can't even, like... Well, I would tell you guys what they are, but they involve very specific names that I feel like I are inappropriate to talk about, so... But yeah, I have nightmares. And they suck. What can you do? I wish there was like some kind of dream therapist. <laughs> Thank you. I remember this nightmare where I'm like a size of an aunt and aunt. Why did I say aunt? Aunt and everything is like overstimulating me. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. Oh my god, we're just like talking about nightmares and this says plane engine randomly explodes. This is an actual nightmare. Okay. Addy. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. Pretty sure a normal therapist can help with bad dreams, helps with anxiety and stuff. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, 
What was it? I was going to a... Oh my god, it's exploding. I was seeing a licensed therapist and then I was also talking to a kind of like a mental health counselor and I kind of was doing both for quite a few months. Um, but the, a licensed therapist is really expensive and at some point I felt like I was doing a lot better so I stopped seeing her but I'm actually considering seeing her again maybe like just a couple times a month instead of like once a week because it really racks up like licensed therapists are quite expensive um doesn't Canada pay for that in healthcare? only if you if it's part of like your job but I'm self-employed so you know And like a licensed, like, psych psychologist, psychiatrist, frick, I can't remember which one it was, but she's quite expensive and it's like a 50 minute session, but she is extremely good. Like, I think she is worth every dollar. It's just that it's very expensive when it adds up. Um, so that's why I like. I, I couldn't see myself going to her for like an entire year straight or something, but um, like I did see her quite frequently, like every single week for I think like two, three months. And then um, I think I saw her every single week for two months. And then afterwards, I kind of started doing like biweekly for the third month. Um, but then afterwards, I was just like, maybe I can be okay. But um, I think it might be worth like going back to her even just like once every two weeks again or once every three weeks or something. Mm -hmm. I actually researched a bunch to visit a PTSD therapist, had six to eight sessions, and those were really rough times. Reliving a lot hurts, but it'll get better, yeah. I think it's like a therapist can really help you kind of understand yourself a lot more and kind of like help you towards seeking ways to think about things um, that help you a lot better. Um, and I think in general, I am doing a lot better. It's just sometimes there's triggers, you know? Hi, Chibble. Welcome home. Hi, Nimbus. Thanks for the six months. Yeah, I think that's a like a good way to put it. A therapist gives you tools to um, deal with things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Back to the nightmare. <laughs> Hi, sunset. The engine on this plane exploded, but the good news is that this plane has multiple engines and was able to land safely. Nimbus, thank you for gifting a sub to sunset. Oh my, that's a big seal. Oh. This is called Karjutsu, and it's a league that has jujitsu competitions inside of a car. What? And this tournament is underway or cranking on the neck, but just enough space here for Rusty to get out what of the What in the seat. hell is uh, going Rusty's on got here? Some good leverage on him here. It looks like we're going to come out of the driver's seat now into the passenger seat. I what, what am I watching? <laughs> I see. <thee. laughs> what the? I found someone who makes incredible pieces of art made entirely out of Legos. Ooh. Whoa, that's cool. Oh, oh, help. What is, is that a really chubby squirrel? What is going on here? Wait, what is this animal? These people in Dubai made the largest Hummer in the world. Hey, Kendrick. Wait, what was a gopher? Oh. Damn, that's big. He doesn't allow anyone inside of his room. Aww. <laughs> Boink! Next time! 
Prime. Thank you for the Prime. Welcome back for 59 months. iPhone company makes little heart-shaped QR codes that you place on your loved one's gravestones. The code is a direct link to the person's profile that provides more detail about who they were and what they were like when they were alive. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Huh. <laughs> Kitty's like, oh god, not the water. Those are- that's demonic. Demons be gone. Not the water. This moose somehow got stuck floating on this river of ice. Oh, help. Help. Save. Chomp. I found an artist that can create bags of water oh made out God. of glass. That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Ooh. And I'll see you guys again very, very soon. It kind of looks pretty cool. Oh, what the hell? It like auto played into Ludwig's stream. Hello, everyone. This okay. Remove this one. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. A plane that was taking off from Mexico was sprayed down after a swarm of mosquitoes took over. Oh god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> sprayed down with what? Oh? Huh? This poor guy was distracted <laughs> by this drone and lost his phone. <laughs> oh no, his phone! Ah, God, help! Oh, GG, goodbye. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> this teacher asked his students if he could work out while they were taking a test, and everyone said yes. That's so distracting! <laughs> Teacher, please! Sir! Sir is doing jumping jacks while they're writing a so test. So this was pretty lucky. What the? Oh, that tail. Why, why is this cat all silly and stuff? Oh. This guy had trouble focusing with the Las Vegas sphere staring at him. What the? All right. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Who pulled up? Oh, oh. Aww, the pink like This little startled. guy just learned what Halloween is. You say trick or treat, and guess what they do? Guess what they do? What? They give you candy. <laughs> That's <laughs> sick. <laughs> Some farmers use lasers to scare away Kids birds. Like, oh, it does not harm or touch the birds, and it works during the day and night to scare them away. It doesn't target birds, but goes in a designated pattern to protect the crops. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> yeah, what up, everybody? <laughs> oh, damn. I see how it is. <laughs> he killed the crowd, what happened? <laughs> For some reason, this lady has a really bouncy sweater. Whoa! Nice. That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see twerk, you guys again twerk, very very twerk, soon. Twerk, Later. Twerk, twerk, twerk. I am no. Oh my goodness, dude! The the, the it just Hello, auto everyone. goes to Ludwig every time. Okay, this one. Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of internet. This guy pranked his brother using a chubby filter. Hey, wish grandma a happy birthday. Bro, say it. You got a filter. Like, this, is, this is how people see you in real life. <laughs> oh no! He's <laughs> traumatizing him. <gasps> hey. Oh, it's so fuzzy. <laughs> Dude, that would scare the crap out of me. Oh, wow. Oh. She was upset with her dad because he refused to put on a seatbelt. Because I'm never writing that ever again! <laughs> she used a hot dog and ketchup to make her boyfriend think she cut off her finger. Ready one, 
two, three. Oh, son of a pop tart! Huh? Oh, thank you. Huh? Sir, oh, uh, you know I can find the hoppa tea patum? Huh? Hoppa tea patum? You ever find a hoppa tea patum? Hoppa tea patum? Hoppa tea patum? Hoppa tea patum? Vibe check passed. I think most Vibe people forget how passed. awkward online classes were in 2020. I mostly like clean because hey. I like to be organized. Well, I'm going to bring you to my house. <laughs> Just huh? kidding. Wait, what? <laughs> what uh, now? Cleaning. Huh? Hello? Huh? Hello? What the hell? I thought there was a hello? small... These people found a badger in the woods. ...kid saying hello, but it was a cat. Oh. Ah. Deep tanning. WD forty. Ah, oh, dude. <laughs> Italy needs to have really skinny ambulances to fit through the narrow dude, roads. Dude, sometimes okay, it is really funny. This is really funny, but um, <laughs> it's like sometimes you like scroll on your reels for tiktok or instagram right and there's like some really fucked up humor out there and then as soon as i like even try even like crack a smile i look into the comments and the comments are as like ladies and gentlemen the doors of hell are open wide just for us and i'm just like ah, amen you're so right brother i'm going fucking straight to hell for laughing at some of this shit it's so fucked i was like dude and then i share it and i'm like hey yo you joining me in hell or what it's so bad it's so bad <laughs> that is a very that is the end of this video or we hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys again in a very, very soon. Aww, it's a Later. Yep, burger. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I was an ambulance. As a dude with prosthetic, I give you a pass to laugh. Dude, I, <laughs> I can't. Even if people don't give me the pass, sometimes it just, it just makes me crack up. But then, uh, what was it? I was like, dude, I was reading. Dude, today... Oh, people on the internet are so crazy. I was watching a video of a cat that got rescued. And then in the comments, a person was like, oh my God, I know how it feels. Okay, so the, so the video was like the cat owner like being really emotional and like happy and relieved that she found her cat. Yeah, today. So I, I, I watched this video today. It was just a cat that just like found their owner. She disappeared for like three weeks or whatever and came back and the owner like saw her in the front door and was like crying and hugging her cat. And it was like really wholesome, right? Cute. I scroll down to the comments. Comments like, oh my God, this happened to me one time, but like, and, and I got my cat back, but my cat actually was like stuck in my neighbor's garage and my neighbors went out for vacation for three weeks. And then there's this giant fucking thread under that comment where people were like, people were commenting and arguing about like, they're like, oh my God, I can't believe your neighbors went on vacation for three weeks. And then someone in there was like, dude, have you never like taken any vacation days off? And then somebody's like, I've never taken more than one week off in my work. And then they're like, well, these people live in Europe. It's pretty common to take three weeks off. You know, you stay out of families or whatever. It's like, it's not that uncommon. It's not that crazy. And then people are like, I can't believe they took three weeks off. What kind of human takes three weeks off work? And then there's just like people arguing under a wholesome fucking video. And I'm just like, what is wrong with these people? Like, it's a happy video and people are having a war about vacation time. Like, let the neighbors have vacation. <laughs> like, who cares? Like, if they have the money and time or like, like, you know, resources to be on vacation for three weeks, then that's fine. I don't know why people get so like unhinged over like it's. It's like they're blaming the neighbors uh, for going on vacation because their cat was stuck in the garage of the neighbors. But like the cat either got let out or escaped, you know, and it was like and the owner couldn't do it. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't put it on the neighbors is pretty much what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't think it's the neighbor's fault. It's not like they purposely trapped the cat there for three weeks. They didn't know the cat was there. And then they left. 
<laughs> they're just like, how dare they go on vacation and have a good time? And then they cause someone's cat to survive off of bugs and the condensation of water on a door. Like, what the, like, what the fuck? People are so crazy. <laughs> like, I just don't understand. And it was like just a perfectly nice video too. Nothing. I don't know. People are so crazy. Okay, Mogu, my my time. And although normally I'd be in bed right now, all cozy and snuggled up, I'm instead having to talk about one of the biggest no-nos I've ever seen on the YouTube platform. Meet I Black. Thank you for the 34 drama. months. Welcome back. Under service. It'd be a lie. It's more accurate to say. A huge crime has been committed by one of YouTube's biggest creators. And that crime is doxing. The which, Papa! Which, which, which crime, Thank you for the 20 months. Right Thank you. And it was committed by Sniper Wolf. Again, I think the like top 100 maybe most subscribed to I heard to about this, but I don't really know platform. what happened. She doxed Jack Films, an OG YouTuber. Uh, he tweeted out about it, said, Creepy, gross, violating. What you did was disgusting. Uh, this, this is wrong. Uh, and, and how did she dox him? Well, she, she dropped an Insta story and said, should I go visit at Jack Films? He lives five minutes away from my shoot and did a, a, a fun little pull. Should I do a crime or not? Pika. And I guess her followers said yes. Oh, also, um, Chibble, your, your uh, comments about the cat thing. So I actually learned that, I think it was like a year or two ago, where, so if you guys didn't know this, cats meowing is not a natural occurrence like it's not a natural sound that they that they make um cats learn to meow to communicate with humans because they think you're dumb af and don't understand their cat language which is why like people have kind of argued about whether cats can differentiate that humans are humans or whether they just think we're big dumb cats like, I think they are arguing about the theory of what cats believe we are. But I, okay, so I believe it only because, oh, the meowing thing. I don't know about the human thing. I believe the meowing thing because my cats don't meow at each other. If anything, my, my cats will hiss at each other or they'll growl at each other. But they don't meow at each other because they communicate through body language and eyes, right? So I'm sitting here sometimes and I look at my cats and I'm just like, hmm, I wonder what they're saying to each other right now. You know, like they'll be like, they'll be just sitting there looking at each other. And I'm just like wondering, like, what are they saying to each other? <laughs> but then when they come to me, they're like, meow, 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 paw, 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 you know? And it's probably because like, we don't understand them. <laughs> Like, we don't, we can't stare into their eyes and look at their ears and body and go like, ah, I see, that was how your day was, you know? But then with cats, it's like, meow, 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 meow to you, you know? And they, like, <laughs> come up to you and stuff. So, yeah. I do believe that the communication is, like, distinctively for humans and not for other animals or, the, or each other. Yes, do crime. And she fucking did. She fucking, she did. She posted in her Insta story, his house. It's blurred out here because mm. I'm not trying to add fuel to the fire. But th that is literally a picture of his house with the caption, let's talk Damn. like adults. Which is something that should only exist in the confines of like a fucking horror movie. That That's not a normal thing to do. That's weird. That's creepy. And that's illegal. That's toxic. Uh, and, and there's some backstory to why it happened in the first place. And we'll get to that in a moment. But first, after doing the doxing, she kind of had this weird argument saying, accusing me of doxing is defamation. I have no idea how to dox. Which is crazy, because that's like that's like somebody who just, you know, snorted cocaine and said, I don't even know how <laughs> to do it, officer. It's in, it's in your note. You already did it. We, You should know how to do it, because he did it. He literally posted his address on Google and said I threatened him and doxed him. Obviously, that's not how Google works, right? You don't post shit on Google. Fuck, it's impossible to even find shit on Google these days. Have you tried using it? Google's like, back in the 1990s, that shit broke. Everybody's on chat GPT. And I promise <laughs> you, a YouTuber would not post their address on Google. If anything, they'd probably spent several hours, days, months, if not years, trying to remove addresses from Google. I would know this. True. And as somebody whose address has been doxxed, mm -hmm. all right, not by a famous YouTuber, by, by a random person, and then got swatted, it sucks. 
It's like mm -hmm. the worst part of the job. It's not an exaggeration. It's probably the single worst part that has made me consider not doing the job because it is so bad of a part. Anyway, that was her argument. It wasn't it wasn't doxing. Uh, but for whatever reason, Jack brought up a good point. If it's not doxing, why'd you delete it? Which she did do. I looked at her Insta story. She deleted that in almost every other post about it. But we have to now get to what we, we why are we here? Why, why the fuck did she do that? It was a crazy thing to do. What, what, why Jack's Films, another OG YouTuber? And for some backstory, if you don't know, Sniper Wolf is a huge YouTuber. Again, 34.2 million subscribers, 24 billion oh, that's a lot. with a B billion channel views. And the main content that she uploads is React content. You might have seen one of these thumbnails before. If you go to like any Airbnb hmm. and they have a YouTube channel that's not logged into, her videos likely recommended. At least that's my experience. Uh, and, and that's the kind of the gist, you know, an eight to 10 minute reaction video of, of like, Ooh, TikToks that make me feel cozy or that unlock a new fear or that feel illegal to watch, whatever. Oh, she uh, categorizes and, and all the stuff that she reacts to. Have been labeled by people like Jax Films and others as more, uh, of, of just total lists. fake Facts. play games. What is, what does that mean? Right? How do you fake uh, uh, just play a, a game? Upload of Wait, how do you fake play a game? <laughs> That concept sounds funny to me. It's like, how do you fake eat or like fake something? Her. Oh, that's very interesting. I mean, if she pulled it off, that's kind of impressive, right? Other people's actual content as opposed to a transformative react. Oh, so she would like commentary and pretend that she played over a person play that's really hard isn't that really hard i guess unless her commentary is very like post action and not like as it happens you know i feel like that is almost like a lot of work unless she pre-watched it and then but that's also a lot of work like you have to like pre-watch something for like an hour or 30 minutes or whatever and then you you commentary again over watching it right and and here's just like a clip of her. Game plan to a green guy, screen. so you gotta wait until you're older than her okay pretty sure they meant to edit her to be centered there but you get the idea right yeah uh. generally not one of the more morally uh correct uh youtubers in the space in terms of how she gets her content uh and jack's films has has uh been been interested in that all right uh and what am i watching you watch uh that. mogul mail you don't know jack's films a, super something OG about YouTuber, sniper known wolf? For a lot of parodies known for yai which was stolen by pewdiepie and became lawai uh that, that that guy that's that's jack's films uh and uh, she is a big a YouTuber. video almost a year ago 34 day, million October subscribers 26, 2022 about sniper wolf and in the video, he said, I saw this article about how Sniper Wolf spent millions on a mansion. He didn't post her address or a picture of it because, that you know, he's got a little more awareness than her. Uh, and then uh, followed up by saying, oh. What I've done is I've created a brand new YouTube channel called Judge Jack's Films. And so far, I've only uploaded one video. He's basically going to react to her reactions as oh. a form of parody, a la Bo Burnham inside type uh. vibe. And, Does she and, strike and him? That, that oh, was the idea. God. And he did it. Matthew, you can't type that. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. You've been unbanned. I think you have to refollow me now or something. Dude, stop typing that. It for like a little bit you can see here it was it was these reactions he used the same thumbnail they got like more and more surreal like he reacted kind to the of, uh, mario trailer here, yeah. with like five different versions of him it, it was very much in an attempt at parody at, at making fun of reactors as opposed to any genuine effort at reacting uh and then he kind of stopped doing it you can see for five months it didn't i don't know like, pique his interest it didn't work out whatever uh and it would have probably or possibly died out there I, I think until sniper wolf tweeted and that's 
what brought us in a way to where we are today. We have Stan loves you yes, for it's real auto. to think because he replied to Cyberwolf and said, "You steal ideas," referring to her videos, her reacts. And she said, "90% of what I upload are my ideas. People copy me, and then people like you get confused." <sighs> and she's saying that Mr. Beast stole her idea of reacting to random acts of kindness. Now, I would argue, and I think many other people would argue, that they both stole just because she had the idea to find a compilation that were similar to random acts of kindness and have a producer get videos that are a random act of kindness. 23 million mean, views to reactions? Too, Damn. That what she's doing is not stealing. That's crazy. I don't crazy. think she's paying the creators. I don't think she's getting permission from the Phew. creators to react to them. And, and by the way, worth saying at this point, I've done plenty of similar reactions to what Sniper Wolf does. I think mm. I, would, I, would, I would argue that. You know, mm -hmm. people could say, oh, you paused more, you edited more stories, and they'll always defend the person that they like. But I have. I've done it. I've, I, fair and simple. I've done You Laugh, You Lose with Slime very recently even. Um, and, and so I'm, I, am, I am no holier a saint than her. However, I think because she is such a big YouTuber, and it is like 90% of what she does, she has basically been the target of a campaign from Jax Films mm. and others to shame her out of doing it. Because mm. that is basically the only tool that we have, or anyone has, to stop React YouTubers, is to shame them out of doing it. Because you don't mm. have any tools within YouTube to like claim the monetization. All you can do is try to take their video down, which can be a bit too aggro of an option. Mm. Uh, and so, that, that, worth just noting that, just a little, little disclaimer. Back to it, she makes that tweet. She says, people copy me. Jax Films ca ca catches wind of this and says, Pfft. I invented reacting to other people's TikToks. Anyone else is copying me. Incredible mental gymnastics. And then and then tags YouTube and VidCon. Uh, you know, I think trying to get her removed from being mm. boosted at those events. And then Cyberwolf says, "Wow, I can't stand that a female YouTuber is getting more views than me, even though I don't make this. Uh, uh, even though I make the same content, life is hard." And then doubles down and says, "Also, I hate bringing gender into this, but no one ever attacks the male react channels." And mm. I have to say, I think. This is what led us to where we are today mm. because this spurred something within Jax Films mm. to take that that little comment and make it a huge chip on his shoulder mm. to get the best dish that everybody loves getting, revenge. <laughs> uh, and, and, and to Jack's credit, by the way, he's been doing this for the better part of a decade. And by this, I mean like literally trying to Reacting shame React Reacting to an channel awful out of React channel. It started seven oh, years no. ago with this channel called Jinx. This is how I found out about him. Basically, Jinx reacted to one of Jack Film's videos in its entirety. Then Jack reacted to Jinx's reaction of Jack's <laughs> video, basically doing nothing but smiling, and then at the end, flaming him. Last video, man, that was just hella tight. I really liked the part where you played my video in its entirety, and then didn't really oh, react to man. it. Oh, man. Just kind of sat there. I also liked the part. This became super viral back in the day, and mm. Jinx deleted his YouTube channel. I tried to find it. It's gone. He, he oh. basically got shamed off the platform for what he was doing, for his uh, low effort reacts. Uh, and and after those tweets, he dropped a video, uh, actually a couple videos, uh, co talking about Sniper Wolf and basically just telling why he thinks this is worth doing, what Sniper Wolf is mm. doing that he considers to be wrong, and Grady, the steps that he's going to take to reactor. shame her out of it. And the step was to reboot the channel J -J -J Jax Films. But this time... I think I'm like a... If I were to grade my own reaction, <laughs> could put myself on a C. I do think though that I do go on random tangents, so <laughs> maybe a C plus. <laughs> I don't think I'm the best reactor, but I think the things that I watch always spark like random stories and commentary. So that's what I always do. Rating her reactions, right? I use it as like, like a like a subject something catalyst. Subject catalyst of sorts. <laughs> and that's basically the idea. You know, I would I would argue it's a transformative idea of trying to grade, shame, and even grade fair play shame. harass her out of doing what she is doing. Uh, mm -hmm. And he would stream that, and then he would upload Hello, it onto Sabi. the channel. Hope and you're doing the channel well. started popping up. You can see right oh. here. He started this about two months ago. Oh my god! It's like are doing very well because he discovered a new format her. called Sniper Wolf Bingo that oh kind of popped god. up. He would do these like a few times a week. He would upload the videos. He would stream them. Get a few thousand, I think, live. Get hundreds of thousands on the vods. Wait, that's crazy. Uh, and 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 that I think led to Sniper Wolf not really enjoying the spot she was in. Here's an mm. example. Standing on the side of the road, and 
they go like this. That's correct. Because they want the truck driver to honk the horn. Jesus f***ing Christ. You know what? I kind of wish you were silent for this one, Sniper Wolf. Maybe you were onto something there by not saying anything. <laughs> uh, let's I, get oh, I have it. Yay, summarizing video. This, let's I go. think this and, is and considered idea, harassment. Right? And, and at this point, it is worth mentioning that there is probably a very real leg that Sniper Wolf can stand on saying that this is harassment. Yeah. Yes, maybe what I am doing is shameless, but it is up to YouTube to absolve that issue, resolve that issue. You can take me down, but this React and, and re-upload thing that you're upset about exists across the platform. I'm taking advantage of a tool that uh, that. Well, maybe I think a okay. I'm not. I'm not defending anybody in anything here. I think every. I think both sides here are doing something that's like not good <laughs> or whatever. But I do think that what he is doing can pass. Um, definitely as harassment, right? Like, it's like, I don't know. I guess what she said to him really triggered him in a way where like, yeah, it's very hyper fixated, right? Like the fact that he has an entire channel dedicated to making fun of her or trying to shame her about what she's doing. So, and then her dogs and her I mean, both sides is like... Ugh, it's like ugly and ugly. It doesn't it doesn't get any better. A loophole that YouTube should close, but hasn't and oh it is God, how I earn my life. I'm shameless. <laughs> Blah. And you are harassing Thank me you. and your followers are harassing me to shame me out yon, of doing yon, it yon. and it is making my life worse. She could have probably made that argument. I'm not saying it would have been successful, but she certainly had a leg to stand for, especially with mm. how many videos Jax Films was yeah, making it seems about like her. Quite it's a, a bit. Fuck -tongue. It's it's like literally multiple it's times. It's not even just a like week. one, Look, but it seems all, like a all, lot. All about Cyberwolf. And then he makes but money she lost from all it that too. The moment she doxed him, just threw it right out the window. Any semblance of an argument, any slight Hi, credit Star. that a human could have given her is uh, lost. Ah, Moon Yeti. Which he does a, a, a like from Mama larger Mama ultimate evil Hello, crime. Zeno. Uh, in, in, in That's so cute. That Your way. first message is uh, a and, yawn. And she tried to make that argument That's after cute. the doxing Lock fact him. right here. This guy's entire channel <laughs> is just me, me, me. Every single video for the past few months has been about me. And it's just like <laughs> shitting on me. And then his streams. This dude is just like low-key harassing me. Like, should I get a restraining order? Which doesn't make sense as a sentence when you're the one who drove like... to his house creepily and then took a picture of it. <laughs> I feel like you should have the restraining order as opposed to get the restraining order based yeah. off of what has happened. I don't think he's tried to show up to your house. Mm. And in this, she says, don't you have a wife? Yes. In fact, his wife did tweet out, hey, dear YouTube, I'm not a creator, but my husband is. Oh, and tonight, God. Sniper Wolf came to my house and posted it on Instagram for all to see and tried to instigate a confrontation. I now have to worry about she as one of your favorite creators uh, and maybe many of her fans that might harm me or my family. I am a regular human who works an eight to five, ooh, eight to five, geez, corporate job <laughs> that happened to fall in love with a YouTuber. Uh, she might claim that she's coming after a bully, but she's actually stalking and doxing normal people with no power. Which, which is true. That and is a great fair point. to say. And why doxing shouldn't exist in the first place. And if you're wondering, by the way, what are the rules for YouTube on doxing? Somebody tried to ask Clarice, hey, what's your policy on doxing? We don't allow harmful behavior like threats in doxing. This resource has more info. And then huh. followed up and said, ah, oh, you don't allow it. Then could you fix this, please? And to the social media manager here, who's copy and pasting all the rules, Godspeed, your night is going to be tough. <laughs> uh, and, and to wrap it up, this is Jack. The poor person working as YouTube's Twitter replier person. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God, what are, what are they going to do? <laughs> for that leg that I was talking about earlier that is chopped off uh, of... of Hey, this is harassment from Jax Films, is what he said. Okay, I want to address something. Every once in a while, because I see the like, this guy's uh, obsessed with Sniper Wolf. Like, why is it like, dude, this guy's really milking this whole Sniper Wolf thing. You know, this whole Sniper Wolf feud. This is why I'm so passionate about mm -hmm. streaming this and making videos about it. We're not talking about shit she did years ago. We're talking about shit she did. I'm honestly scared that this could be escalated even more. I mean, like, Jack kind of escalated by harassing Cyberwolf just for her choice of content, but, like, she committed a literal crime. What if she goes even further? Like, God, no, please. What if this goes even further? I don't think that they would, unless they're, like, 
unless something is mentally not going well in the head for one of them or both of them. I feel like... Yeah, I think the worst that can see this is like a fan feud. And maybe the fans might do something weird, which I hope doesn't happen. But I think the two creators themselves probably wouldn't do anything. Yeah, I feel like at the end of the at the end of the day, they're both like, well, but then she went all the way. To that is a lot. I don't know. That that is a lot. I feel like it's a lot of work to like go out of your way to go to someone's house and do all that stuff. Like doing, even making videos about the person is a lot of work in my eyes. But like going over to their place and like doing all this stuff stuff and posting online is also a lot of work. So I don't know, like, <laughs> I don't know to what extent they would go. I'm hoping they don't actually hurt each other in any way. But I do foresee like fan feuds, like what you guys are saying. I do foresee that. Did last week or yesterday or today. Mm -hmm. She like went to this his house and like took a picture of it and like commonly, posted it or something. Frequently repeatedly that's why i still do this because it's so egregious yeah. and no one's policing this at all and what that's right i mean he is right about it. nobody is policing it it should probably be youtube's responsibility to maybe give creators the tools to take money i've said this many times before youtube listen to my fucking ideas they're good <laughs> give creators i mean verified creators at the very least the tool to claim monetization on videos that have been re-uploaded of theirs. Whether I think that's fair. I think this is fair. Like, for the creator to claim a percentage of the people that are making money off of content that was originally theirs. I think that's fair. I think that is very fair to anybody. To anybody who's using someone's content or, like, someone or anything. Like, if it's not created by you, I think it's fair for the original person to get a cut. Yeah. It is a bad reaction from a streamer or a bad reaction of multiple videos from a YouTuber. They should have that tool. It would be very helpful. And then they wouldn't have to feel like their only tool is complain on Twitter until maybe <laughs> the creator's shamed out of doing it or tried to delete their whole channel, which can be a, a much bigger shitstorm that you're getting into that you Well, I think I think that permission thing is valid as well. I just think sometimes though, like if there is enough of a creative spin on the idea, um, it's difficult to always say like, hey, can we like get your permission? Unless it's like very specific like content, like even like maybe like music. But if it's like, if there is a very different spin or take and creative um, vision on a certain piece of content, I feel like always needing to ask for permission can be a little bit um difficult i think in a creative out like on a creative outlet like youtube and stuff like that so i don't know like i can see both sides like i think it is important um to be sure that it is okay to use certain things um but then i think if you put that rule on every single thing it might make content creation very difficult it's like, it's like, it's like, who's the first person that came up with uh, some type of like musical idea? Does that mean that the current day musicians have to receive permission from dead musicians to use a certain musical idea? You know, it's like that. That's what I'm saying. It's like if your current take on a certain idea is different enough and has a like a creative enough spin, then it feels, yeah, like sampling classical music. Like, let me knock on Beethoven's grave and be like, yo, can I use those three notes you used like 200 years ago? I'm trying to I'm trying to write a song over here. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, Paco Bell be rolling in his grave and Mozart be like, the fuck you writing out there in 2000 years? What do you mean? Like, what are you writing out there? You know, it's just like, it, it's, it's, uh, it's hard. But I do agree generally that like, you know, it'd be good to be able to receive. I think if it's, a, if it's an exact usage of someone's work, then yes, permission should be required. But then it goes into the gray area of like, oh, how much is like unique and like blah, 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 blah. Anyways, it's, I feel like it's like an age old argument that people have been uh, kind of like hack hacking at. Okay. Uh, yeah, it really depends. Like, yeah, I don't know. It's so circumstantial. 
Uh, we be yawning. Okay.